You gotta fight for your right for voting. That's a classic suffragist anthem, which is appropriate because we're playing Votes for Women on this episode of Table for One. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear the hat the whole time. Also, these sleeves make some noise, so hopefully that's not messing with the audio too much. But for the outfit, worth it. Hi, I'm Paula, and today we're playing Votes for Women, a game by Tori Brown and published by Fort Circle Games, who's helping to sponsor this episode. In this historical game, we'll be simulating the suffragist movement in the United States, in which efforts were being made to win women the right to vote. In the solo mode of the game, we'll be playing the suffragists, and our AI opponent, of course, is working against us to prevent the 19th Amendment from being ratified. Now, of course, if you want to know all the rules, go check out Rodney's How to Play video, which is linked in the description below. Then come back here, where I'll be explaining all the differences for the solo mode as we play. With that being said, let's see if I can't manage to get that 19th Amendment into Congress and ratified by 36 states. Wish me luck. So here we are with the game set up and ready to go. There are just a few minor differences in setup from the multiplayer game to the solo mode. So I'm just gonna go over those very quickly. Mostly they have to do with our oppo bot, which is the deck, of course, that is our AI opponent who is trying to stop the 19th Amendment from making it through Congress and being ratified by the states. The deck setup for the oppo bot is pretty much the same as your own deck setup. You have your late, middle, and early era cards that you separate, shuffle individually, and then put in order late on the bottom, middle in the middle, and early on top so that you're drawing them in order as you go through the game. The difference here is before you combine all of those stacks, you're going to remove the top three cards from each one and then put them together into your Oppobot deck. So in short, I've removed three cards from the late vert part of my deck, three cards from the middle part of my deck, and three cards from the early part of my deck to combine them. The Oppobot also has three start cards that you pull out from the deck. These will start the turn for turn one, turn three, and turn five. Otherwise, we're drawing cards off the top of the Oppobot deck to see what actions the Oppobot is going to take during the game. We've also pulled out the dice for the solo mode. The black and gray dice are the ones that the Oppobot is going to use during the game. And we'll use our pretty red, white, and blue dice. Oh, I just got that. Red, white, and blue. Do you think that's on purpose because it's the US? <laughs> Lots of countries have red, white, and blue as their flag though. One of the other differences in setup is we only have buttons out for the suffragist, us. Because the Oppobot doesn't use any buttons, we've kept the opposition buttons in the box. And that's basically it for the setup differences. Otherwise, we have our strategy cards laid out, our nine state cards, our cubes and meeples for our campaigners for both sides, and of course, 36 check marks that we need to get on the board to win, and 13 X's that the Oppobot needs to get on the board to win. I'll go over the specifics of how the Oppobot works as it takes its turn. So you'll learn as we go along. So. Turn one, round one, I of course have my start card, the Seneca Falls Convention. I'm gonna pull six more cards from the top of my deck to form my hand of seven cards. So during this game, rather than describing each single card as soon as I pull them into my hand at the start of my turn, I'll describe them as I play so that you understand why I'm playing each one. Though I do wanna go over all of the strategy cards and the state cards that are out before we start so that we can have a bit of a plan going into this first turn of the game. So our current strategy cards, and we skip the strategy phase in the first turn because you have to bid buttons to be able to afford to buy them. And in the first turn of the game, we have no buttons. But we have out Bellwether State, which will let us select one state and remove any orange cubes and add four purple or yellow. Or, of course, if we were playing the opposition in the multiplayer game, remove any purple yellow cubes and add four orange cubes. Now, if the Oppobot wins this card, they'll be able to add four of their own cubes to two states determined at random. We also have efficient organizing, which if I win, I would get five buttons. Reconsideration, if I win, I could replace one X with two of my own cubes, 
And if the Oppobot gets it, they would replace a check mark with two of their cubes. I don't want the Oppobot to get that card. The states that we have special powers for that we would like to try to win are Georgia, New Jersey, Montana, Illinois, New York, California, Kansas, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. One thing we're gonna learn in this game is how poor my geography is. Also, if you don't know off the top of your head the abbreviations of each state that makes up the US, don't worry, there is a player aid that you can download and print out to help you, and I'll show it here on screen right now so that you can see what it looks like. I think for my first turn, I want to go on and play my start card, the Seneca Falls Convention, for its event. This is going to allow me to add a purple and a yellow campaigner in the Northeast region. Plus, I'll get two buttons and I can add two cubes in New York. I think this is important because the sooner I get campaigners on the board, the sooner I can start trying to get congressional markers placed down here on our Congress track, and the sooner I can start actually campaigning to add cubes across the country. So I think this is a good card to start with. So I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play it out down here so we can kind of keep track of how many rounds we've played because of course in one turn, there are six rounds. We'll play all but one of our cards. So let's put out our flag, our yellow flag and our purple non-flag. They both go in the Northeast. I'm gonna play them laid down so you can see them a little nicer Then we might run out of room once we get an Oppobot campaigner in there. We'll deal with it when we get to it. Then I receive two buttons, which I like. I'm gonna keep my buttons here on the board. And then I get to put two cubes in New York. I'm gonna put one of each color. So we've got some diversity happening in there. And that is the end of my first round in turn one. So now the Oppobot goes with their start card, play on turn one, round one. That's exactly where we are. Add one campaigner in the south region, that's down here. Add one cube in each state in the northeast region, the Atlantic and Appalachia region, the south region, and the midwest region. At this point, this early stage of the game, they have a lot of support in the country. Of course, when we place in New York, what we actually do is remove one of our cubes that's already there. So we'll remove the yellow cube. Then we'll finish getting these placed in the Midwest. Okay, so that is the Abobot's turn. So now we go to round two. We have to pick another one of our cards. I think this turn I'm gonna play Frederick Douglass for its event. So that means I'm gonna roll a D8 and that's the number of cubes I'm going to get to add in the Northeast region, but no more than one per state. So let's see what I get here. <laughs> here we start with the bad rolls. Now I could re-roll this. I could spend a button to re-roll this, but I don't think I'm going to. I wanna hold on to these buttons. So what I'm going to do is actually replace what we lost on the Abobot's turn and put a yellow cube back in New York. Now I have one more I get to place. I'm gonna place it in New Jersey. Now, of course, you can't have cubes of opposing sides in the same place. So instead of placing one in here, what this does is actually removes this Oppobot cube. And that ends round two for me, but now we have round two for the Oppobot. So now we flip over a card from the top of the deck and see what happens. Okay, so when the Oppobot has a card that flips over, you will play it either for its event or as a campaigning action. If you can't play the event for some reason, it defaults to the campaigning action. If you can play the event and it's actually helpful for the Oppobot, you do the event. So if the circumstances are right for an event, let's say it says, if the civil war is in effect, do X, Y, Z. Oh, the civil war is in effect. But this action doesn't actually help us. It wants us to add cubes to a place where we already have all the cubes we need, as a rough example then you would default to doing the campaign action. But here we will do the Horace Greeley event, place two cubes in each of New York and Connecticut. So fertile ground here for both sides in the Northeast right now. Two cubes in Connecticut. So right now there are three cubes in Connecticut. And of course, two cubes in New York basically means instead our cubes come out. Round three. I'm going to play another card for its event, the Vin a Vindication of the Rights of Woman. So for this event, it says draw two cards from your draw deck, discard one card, and play the other card for its event immediately. So let's see what we get. Maybe it's something awesome. Ooh, we have a petition to Congress. I think this is the one I'm going to play. I'm gonna discard Lucy Stone. Now I get to add one 
congressional marker in Congress and one cube in one state of each region. So I'm going to add my congressional marker. I need six of these to even get to the point where we're actually ratifying the amendment. And if I make it to the end of turn six and I don't have this track filled, I automatically lose, which is not what we want. So one cube in each region. All right, well, let's try and get New York back. Let's do, we're gonna be doing a lot of removing cubes rather than actually placing cubes in uh, these regions because the Oppobot has a cube in each of the states. So let's see, what are we trying to get? Pennsylvania, so let's remove the one from Pennsylvania. Let's remove the one from Ohio. What do we have down here in the South? Georgia, let's remove the one from Georgia trying to make it easier for us to get those states instead of the Oppobot. Then we can either put, let's either put a cube in Kansas or Montana. Let's do Kansas just because it's close. We'll do a yellow one. And then California is our state in the West. So let's do a cube there and I'll put a purple one there. It doesn't really matter if it's purple or yellow. They're both the suffragist side, but you do want to have some balance and maybe a little bit of both colors in each state because there are some cards in this deck that are going to make you remove all the purple cubes from one state. And if you only have purple cubes in there, then that state suddenly has lost all the support for you that it had. It's not fun. Okay, and this will discard just like that. Let's see what the Oppobot does for its round three. Southern Resentment. Play if the 15th Amendment is in effect. Here we go. 15th Amendment is not currently in effect, so this will not be an event. Instead, we'll play this for its campaign. So we'll do this for one campaigner who's on the board right now, and the first thing we're going to do is determine what region this campaigner moves to. We do that by rolling the d6. Okay, four. So the campaigner is going to move to the Midwest because that is region number four. Now we determine which state they're going to campaign in by rolling the D8. Hi, editor Paula popping in here to say that there's an important rule that I missed that comes up a few times throughout the video. So I'm going to explain the rule correctly right now. And then every time it happens in the video, I'm going to put in a pop up with a correction just to help reinforce the proper way to play. Learn from my mistakes. When the Oppobot takes a campaigning action, after rolling to determine the region, you don't automatically roll the D8 to determine the state. First, you're going to check and see if there are any state cards available for that region. If there are, the Oppobot will place their cubes for that action in the corresponding state. Now, if there's more than one state card, they'll pick one of the corresponding states at random. If there are no state cards available for the region, then you roll the D8 to determine the state randomly. Now that being said, when the Oppobot is placing cubes due to an event effect, you do randomly roll to determine the states affected, whether there is a state card available for that region or not. Got it? Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I know I should be using a dice tray. So three, so that's Missouri. So how many cubes are going to go into Missouri? Well, we determine that by rolling the D4. Oh gosh, <laughs> my dice looks on display. So we now have five cubes in Missouri and I'm not thrilled about it. But that's the Oppobot's turn. That's what happens when they do a campaigning action. So we'll discard that right there and put that away. Okay, round four. I think let's try and do a campaigning action. So I'm going to play this card. This is Anna Dickinson, but I'm not playing it for the Anna Dickinson event. Instead, I'm going to do a campaigning action. Now I can spend a button to move one of my campaigners to another region, but because I kind of want to diversify the support I'm getting right now in this region, I think I'm just going to leave them both there and put purple and yellow cubes in the Northeast. So to determine how many cubes I can add in for each campaigning action, I'm gonna roll a D4 for each of my campaigners. And then I'll assign the number that I roll to each one and that's how many cubes they can put out. Now I could spend a button to re-roll because I don't like the fact that I rolled a one, but if you do that, you have to re-roll everything. And this four is pretty good. So I think I might just keep it. Let's say that the yellow gets the four and the purple campaigner gets the one. Here's the, what we are gonna do immediately. We're gonna put three yellow cubes in New York 
and one yellow cube in New Jersey. And then our one purple cube is also gonna go in New Jersey. Now I've done this in New York because as soon as you've got four cubes of support in a state that has a card out, you get that card. We've now earned the New York card, which means at some point on our turn, we can play this in addition to the card from our deck to do its special power. And this lets us add six cubes in the Northeast region, no more than two per state. I think this is gonna be very handy in the late game. I'm gonna turn my discard pile upside down just so we can keep track. This is discard. This is a card I have access to that I just haven't used yet. Okay, then the Apple bot goes. Old Dixie. We're gonna add a cube in each of Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. They're spreading a lot of influence in the early game, aren't they? Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, Georgia, and oops, Florida. Okay, second to last round of turn one. I'm gonna play women to the polls here as an event where I get to add two cubes in each of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware. I like this because it's going to give me four cubes in New Jersey and I'm gonna get the New Jersey state card. So I'm very happy about that. So I can add two of whatever mix. So I'm gonna do one of each in New Jersey. Then in Pennsylvania, again, I think I'm gonna do one of each and then one of each in Delaware. Oh, so in Delaware, there's an orange cube from the Apobot. So we remove that from one and then we replace it with the other. So I'm just gonna put one purple in Delaware. And then we get our New Jersey card. Now, when we play this state card, it'll allow us to receive two buttons. Now the Apobot for its second to last round of the turn, South Dakota rejects suffrage. Oh no, all my hard work, <laughs> which was just playing a card that let me do it. Play if there's at least one marker in Congress. There is, remove it from Congress and add two cubes in South Dakota. Don't like that. Okay, so for my last round of turn one, I'm gonna play a Soothin' B. Anthony indicted. Wow, in 1872, Anthony was one of many suffragists who tried to illegally cast a ballot for president, attempting to force the courts to decide the suffrage issue. I did not know that, that's amazing. So playing this for its event, I will receive one button. So I have three now, which is gonna come in handy at the start of turn two. And then I'm going to add one cube in one state of each region. For the Atlantic and Appalachia, I'll add a yellow into Delaware. For the South, I'm gonna take out again the one in Georgia. For the Plains, let's add a purple into Kansas. For the West, let's add a yellow into California. I think let's add a purple into Ohio for the Midwest. And then for the Northeast, we'll just remove from Maine. The Oppobot's last card of the round is the Civil War. Play if it is round one, two, or three of the current turn. Oh, it's not. So we won't actually play this for its event for the Civil War because it's round one, two, three, four, five. This is round six of the current turn. So nothing gets removed from Congress. There wouldn't be anything to remove anyway. Ooh, this is very good because it says for the remainder of the turn, the suffragist player may not add cubes to any state in the Atlantic and Appalachia and South regions. Well, it kind of doesn't matter anyway because it's the end of the round, but that's why this only gets played if it's in the first half of the round. So instead, this is a campaigning action. So let's do this again. Let's find out what region our little campaigner goes to. Region six, which is the Northeast. It's gonna get very crowded up there. All right, then what state are we gonna add to? State number seven, that's Connecticut. How many goes in? Four again, I can't believe it. One, two, three, four. Wow, Connecticut has a lot. Look at all those cubes in Connecticut. That's, that's almost just a lost cause. Okay, and that ends turn one. So we'll do a little bit of cleanup. I'm gonna reorganize my cards here. We would remove any events that were in effect just for the rest of the turn. We don't have any right now. I'm gonna put my cards into discard piles. And now we move into turn two. I'm gonna draw six cards to add to my hand. And now we go into the strategy phase for the first time in the game. So I need to bid of the buttons that I have how much I'm willing to spend on a strategy card. I have three buttons and they're good for so many things, but I also don't want the Oppobot to just automatically get the buttons. So I'm gonna bid two buttons for a strategy card. Now in the solo mode, what the Oppobot does is they roll this D4. If this is lower than what I bid, I spin the buttons and I get whichever card I want. If it's the same as what I bid, 
I just lose my buttons and no one gets a card. If it's higher than what I bid, the Oppobot gets a card at random and they get to immediately take the Oppobot action on the strategy card. So let's hope I roll a one. Oh, the odds aren't very good, are they? It's a two. So I spent these buttons, but the Oppobot doesn't get anything. Now neither do I, but at least I'm not being hurt by the Oppobot. I think I'm gonna start with playing an event Property rights for women. This lets me say for the remainder of the turn, I'll roll a D6 instead of a D4 when taking a campaigning action, which means I have the possibility of adding more cubes to the board when I campaign. So I think this is a good event to have an effect for the rest of the turn. So I'm gonna put that here. That's my whole first round. The Oppobot has border states. We're gonna add a cube in each of Delaware, Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Missouri. I need to remove some of these cubes. There are so many cubes, orange cubes out on the board. Delaware, oh, we remove one from Delaware instead of adding one. Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Missouri. Missouri has a ton of cubes already in it. Okay, I feel like I should do one of these campaigning actions now. Okay, I'm gonna play out this Pioneer Women card, but I'm not gonna do it for the event. I'm gonna do it as a campaigning action. So rather than doing any of the text, what I'm going to do is spend my only button. This means I won't get a reroll, but I'm gonna spend my only button and I'm going to move the yellow campaigner into the Atlantic and Appalachia region. And for the record, I'm from this region and it is pronounced Appalachia, not Appalachia, just so everyone knows. That's how the locals say it. And now we're gonna roll D6s. And I hope I roll sixes. Well, I rolled a total of six, but three each. So they each get to put in three cubes. So let's do three in Maine, why not? Then I'm gonna put two in Pennsylvania so that I have four in there, which means I get the Pennsylvania card. Yes. The Pennsylvania card is going to allow me to add six of my own cubes to the Atlantic and Appalachia region when I play it. Now I have one more yellow cube I can place and I'm gonna put it in Virginia because it's empty right now. Okay, the Oppobot gerrymandering oh no remove all yellow cubes see this is what i was talking about from the two states with the most yellow cubes well that's pennsylvania and new york now luckily i've already claimed these state cards and just because i've gone below four total in these states now i don't have to return those cards those cards are mine Okay, I'll play Frances Harper and I'll play her for her event, which is gonna let me roll a D8 and then add that number of cubes into the Atlantic and Appalachia region, no more than one per state. So if I roll an eight, I can put one in each state. Seven, that's very good. And I can put purple and yellow cubes. So let's add a purple into Virginia. Let's add a yellow back into Pennsylvania. We'll take one from West Virginia, one from Kentucky, one from Tennessee. I'll do one from Maryland and then I'm gonna add a purple into Delaware. Okay, that's seven. And Oppobots, round three. Southern hospitality. We're gonna place, I can't help but get Southern when I talk about Southern. Um, place one cube and undoing all of my hard work. We're gonna run out of orange cubes. Now if you run out of cubes in the game, they're not meant to be limited, just replace them with something else. Hopefully that won't come to it. Hopefully we will remove some of these large amounts of cubes on the board, but we'll see. Okay, place one cube in each of Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Tennessee. All right, my round four. I'm gonna play the National Women's Rights Convention, and I'm playing it for its event. Playable if the Civil War is not in effect. And remember, it isn't. So I'm gonna add a congressional marker into Congress and hope that it doesn't just get immediately removed by the Oppobot, though it probably will be. And then a cube in one state of each region. What would be good to bolster? Let's put a purple back into Virginia. Let's put a yellow into New York. Let's remove this cube from Georgia, Ohio, Illinois. You know what, I'm gonna remove the cube from Illinois because it's one of the states I have up here. Then let's put a yellow into Kansas and a yellow into California. I believe that is a cube in each one state of each region. Now let's see if the Oppobot undoes everything I just did. Oh my gosh, how did I know that as soon as I played this, this kind of a card would come out? Senator Joseph Brown, play if there is at least one marker in Congress. Oh man, oh man. Remove it, add two cubes in Georgia. Ay, ay, ay. That 
Applebot. It knows. It reads my mind. How does it know? You know what? Let's try again. I'm playing Francis Willard. This is for the event that's going to add one marker in Congress. Come on, just stay in there. And I'm going to get two buttons, which is the main thing I want out of this card because I don't have any buttons right now. Applebot, what will you do? Miner versus Happer set. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? I should have waited. Play if there's at least one marker in Congress. Remove one marker from Congress. Hate Congress. Can't get him to do anything. <laughs> Add two cubes in Missouri. Oh my gosh. I might give up on Missouri. Like Missouri is, this is so many cubes in Missouri. All right, this is the last card of turn two. I'm gonna play Reconstruction for its event. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to just get more cubes out and I think playing it for its event is going to help me more than campaigning at the moment. So playable if the Civil War is not in effect. It's not. And, oh no, I can't play this. And the 15th Amendment is in effect. It is not, I can't play this. So I'll just hold this back into my hand and instead we'll play Sojourner Truth. Ooh, do I wanna do this for the event? I still have the property rights for women. You know what, because I can roll a six, it's possible I could be adding 12 cubes to the board. With this one, I could only add eight. Now it's not likely, because I'd have to roll two sixes for the 12 to happen, but the I have the opportunity to add more to the board if I play this for campaigning. So I'm gonna play this as a campaigning action. I will leave both my campaigners currently where they are so that I can use a button to re-roll if I want to. So we're gonna roll two d6s, Hope for sixes so I can get 12 cubes on the board. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Classic Paula roll. I will spin a button and I'm re-rolling that. Come on. Okay, okay, that's better. A six and a two. It's not like brilliant, but that one six, I'm, I'm happy, especially after having just rolled two ones. I'm gonna give the yellow the six and the purple campaigner, oops, the two, because I already have more cubes in the Northeast than in Atlanta and Appalachia. I'm gonna actually remove cubes. I'm gonna remove from New Hampshire and Vermont. Now yellow will put out six cubes. Two in Virginia, one in Delaware, three left, and I'm going to remove one from North Carolina, one from Maryland, and one from West Virginia. That's the campaigning turn. Let's see what the oppa bot does to mess with me now. So we end turn two. Unwarranted, unnecessary, and dangerous interference, the card says. We're gonna add a cube in one state of each region. So to do this, we're gonna determine it randomly with the die roll. We'll get our D8 and let's see what state it adds a cube to in the Northeast. Number three, that's New Hampshire. All right, Atlanta and Appalachia. Number four. Pennsylvania, so it will remove a yellow cube from there. All right, the south. Six, that's Georgia. Oh, it's very close to getting that Georgia card. I don't like that. Uh, Midwest, seven. Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana. Plains, five, that's South Dakota. And the west, two, Oregon. There's so many orange cubes on this board. I'm overrun, and that ends turn two. So now let's do our cleanup. I'm gonna move my turn marker to three. I'm gonna discard my cards. This comes out because this was only in effect till the end of the turn, so this will discard. That's the first card I'm going to play on turn three, round one, so I'm putting it on top of my deck so that I don't forget. Oh, I have almost no buttons. I don't think I'm gonna win this <laughs> this time. I don't think I'm gonna be getting any strategy cards. But let's draw our six cards and get turn three started. I have a lot of work to do in Congress. Oh, hey, we have the 15th Amendment in our hand now. That's good. Oh, yeah, we got some good cards. We're in the middle era now. Our cards are getting more powerful. But now it's the strategy phase. I only have one button, and I don't want to just auto lose this, so I'm going to bid the one button. The best I can hope for is to break even, and neither one of us gets a card. That's not very likely, is it? It's a two. So this button is spent. The Oppobot gets one of these at random. So I'm just gonna shuffle them and pick one. This one. Efficient organizing. 
Oh, this one would have been so nice to have, get five buttons. So for the oppo bot, it's gonna add three cubes to three states determined at random. So we're going to roll region and state number for the first one. That is region two, state five. So that's the plains. Oh, wow, South Dakota. So three cubes. Second state, region four, state four. Wisconsin gets three cubes. And then third one, region two, state seven. Oh, so all of my cubes in Kansas will come out because there's three there. It's not looking good. We're gonna start off with the National American Woman Suffrage Association. This is going to allow me to add another campaigner to the board, which is really, really good. So a purple campaigner comes onto the board in the Atlantic and Appalachia region, along with my yellow one. They both have little flags and I get three buttons. So that's good. All right, let's see what this start card the Oppobot has for turn three, round one. They get a campaigner as well. Add one campaigner in the Northeast region. They're both in the Northeast region right now. Oh, I don't like it. This poor little purple campaigner is not, is not happy being surrounded by the opposition there. Okay, round two. I think we play the 15th Amendment. That'll let us play that card I wanted to play at the end of last turn. So I'm gonna play this for its event. Playable if the Civil War is not in effect. It is not. I'm gonna roll a D6. On a roll of three to six, I can add two congressional markers in Congress. Oh, I'm nervous. Maybe I should wait to do this until later because I'm just gonna lose. We should do this at the end of the turn. Yeah, I'm gonna wait and do that at the end of the turn. Never mind. So for the second round in turn three, I'm gonna play this card. For the remainder of the turn, I will roll a six instead of a four, a D6 instead of a D4 when taking a campaigning action. So I'm gonna put that into effect for the rest of the turn. Now the Oppobot goes. Senator Cotton Ed Smith, play if there is at least one congressional marker in Congress. Well, there isn't one because I got scared to put one in there. So this won't play for its event, it'll be a campaigning action. So let's see what regions both of these guys move to. So the first one's going to region six. I think it's where they are. Yeah, the Northeast. The second one is going to region three, which is the South. So the first one, state five, and they're going to put in three cubes. This guy in the South, state seven, which is South Carolina. Oh, I'm almost out of orange cubes. I have to get some things removed immediately. I'm so on track for losing right now. This is a nightmare. Okay, it's my turn to play a card again. And so now that I have this Marie Louise Bottineau Baldwin in play, I'm going to play this Union Victory card. It's only playable as an event if the Civil War is in effect, and it's not. And we know that that card will not be happening again. It's already in the discard pile. So I'm gonna play this for its campaigning action. So first I'm gonna spend a button. And I'm going to move this yellow campaigner into the Midwest, see if we can do some good there maybe get the Ohio or the Illinois card. Everyone else is gonna stay where they are. So let's roll some D6s and see how many cubes get added. I'm gonna keep this. I don't wanna lose the six. I could spend a button, but I have to reroll everything and I'm worried even though this is a one, this isn't that bad. So we're gonna give the six to this one. We'll do the three for this one. And then the one up here, she's going to remove one of these orange cubes. Okay, she's going to put one, let's put a second one into Delaware and a nut, her third one into West Virginia. Okay, six here with yellow. Yeah, we're gonna put three into Ohio and one into Illinois. So I get the Ohio card, ha ha. Okay, Oppobot, do your worst, except maybe less than your worst because I don't like your worst, it's mean. A threat to the ideal of womanhood. Play if it is round one or two of the current turn. It's not, it's round three of the current turn. You can tell because one, two, third card. So I don't do the event, instead this will be campaigning. So let's see where our dudes go. Okay, first one goes to region four, oh, the Midwest. Second one goes to region three, which is the South, he stays there. Okay, in the Midwest, we're looking at state six. Oh no. And the number of cubes. Okay, and the number of cubes he's gonna put out is two. So first he removes this one yellow, so he'll only put out one. All right, let's see what happens with the south, what state. 
eight. That's Florida. Are there any ones on here? There are no ones on here. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so that's two. Now I only have one left in here. So what I'm going to do is stack on top and that's how I'm gonna remember one of these is worth two. Now obviously I need to get rid of a lot of orange cubes. <laughs> Let's play for its event, the union signal. I'm going to receive one button and then I can place one cube in one state of each region. And honestly, I'm not gonna place any cubes. I'm gonna remove orange cubes. So I'm gonna remove this one here, the double one here. So that just is three. That makes it easy to remember. Let's remove from Illinois. Let's remove from Kentucky. And let's remove from New Hampshire and from South Dakota. Okay, fourth one for the Oppobot. Oh, here we go. Western saloons push suffrage veto. Play if the 18th amendment is not in effect and it isn't. So two cubes in Arizona and one in New Mexico, Nevada, and Utah. That's all the cubes I just removed. Two in Arizona and one in Nevada, New Mexico, and Utah. Well, for my fifth round of this turn, I'm playing Emmeline Pankhurst. I'm gonna do it for its event because it lets me roll 2d6 and then add that number of cubes anywhere, no more than two per state. I'm hoping, honestly, again, I wanna clear a lot of these orange cubes because I'm being overrun by them. I'm gonna bend a button and I'm gonna reroll that. That's more like it, a five and a six. I can remove 11 cubes from this board then. No more than two per state. So let's just do two, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11. That I think was pretty decent. Let's see what the Oppobot has in store this time. Conservative opposition, add two cubes in any three states. All right, let's find out what states they are. First one, region six, state five. Next state, region two, state five. Of course it's South Dakota again. That's so funny, I keep rolling that. Third one, region six, State six, that's Rhode Island. Okay, this is the last card of turn three. I have nothing in Congress, but I'm about to try to have something in Congress. So I'm gonna play the 15th Amendment. This is in effect for the rest of the game. So it's playable if the Civil War is not in effect. It's not. I will roll a six. If I get a three to a six, I can add two congressional markers to Congress and then eight cubes anywhere, no more than two per state. So let's hope I get a three, four, five, or six. Yes. Three, okay, so I'm putting two congressional markers out and then eight cubes anywhere I want. Let's see if we can bolster a few things. Let's get one in California so I can get this California card, two purple and two yellow into Illinois. So that's four, so that's five total. I get the Illinois state card. So I have three more. I think I might remove some cubes rather than adding. So I think what I'll do is say that I would like to add cubes to, I should do Georgia. All three are gonna come out of Georgia. I'm adding three cubes to Georgia, which really means I'm removing the three orange cubes that are there. And that's the eight cubes. Oh, no more than two per state. I can't actually do that. So I have to leave one. Did I put three in somewhere? I think I did. I think that was Illinois. I think I only had, did I have one in there? Let's do one in Illinois. I don't exactly remember, but we're gonna say that's fair. So, cause it's only two per state and I'm pretty sure I put three in there. So then I'll put, I'll put, a, so now I've put two and now I will also put, why don't I put one up here into Maine? Okay, I think that's good. I, I don't think I've, I think I've fixed my mess ups there. Now the Oppobot has its last turn three card, white supremacy and the suffrage movement. Play if Southern strategy is in effect. It's not. So I'm very happy. Remove all yellow cubes from the four states with the most yellow cubes and I'd have to lose two buttons. I'm so glad this other strategy is not in effect. So instead, this will play for campaigning action. So let's find out the regions they go to. Uh, this one will move to region five, which is the Atlantic and Appalachia. And then this one will go to Region six, which is back up to the Northeast. They love this part of the country. 
How are these weighted? I don't know why I rolled a six so much. There's only one six on here. Okay, state in the Northeast is number two. That's Vermont, and that would be three cubes. And then state in Appalachia is four, which is, ooh, Pennsylvania. And that's two, which just means my two cubes there come out. That's the end of turn three. We're gonna move on to turn four. We're gonna do our cleanup. And in turn four, I'm gonna start playing some of my state cards. It's time to start getting those out on the table and taking advantage of their powers. This will move to turn four. These will discard, these discard. This one comes out because it was only in effect for the rest of the turn. This one stays in because it's in effect for the rest of the game. Let me draw my six cards. Now we go into our strategy phase. I'm going to bet both of my buttons. I don't think I'm gonna get a card at all. I really need to get more buttons so I can try and get a strategy card. So let's roll this die. Two, so no one gets anything. Those go away. This turn I'm gonna try and get more buttons because I wanna get a strategy card. And in fact, the first thing I'm gonna do for turn four is play the club movement for its event, which just lets me get four buttons. Come here, buttons, I want you. That's it. Okay, let's see what the Oppobot does. Xenophobia. Remove, oh no, remove all yellow cubes from the two states with the most yellow and all purple cubes from the two states with the most purple. Okay, so the yellow cubes come out of Virginia and Ohio because they both have three. And the purple cubes, it looks like we're looking at Maine because it has three. And then a bunch have two. So I'm just gonna choose, I'm gonna oh, pull them out of California. Don't like it, don't like it. It's tough getting the stuff like made legal. Like what, how in the world, this is hard. I'm gonna play Reconstruction. Playable if the Civil War is not in effect and the 15th Amendment is in effect, yup. I'm gonna add a cube in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. Virginia, let's put in a yellow. North Carolina, we'll do a purple. South Carolina. We remove Georgia, we remove Florida, we remove Alabama, we remove Mississippi, we remove Tennessee, we remove Arkansas, we remove Louisiana, get out of here, Texas. That was nice. We cleared a lot of orange cubes and I'm very happy about that. Now the Oppobot has a backlash to the movement, which makes sense because we just did that. Add two orange cubes in any three states. All right, let's find out where they're gonna go. Region six, state five, two cubes, there we go. Then we have region four, I believe that's the Midwest, yes, state three. Oh my God. Why does the Oppobot have such sway in Missouri? Okay, and then the last one is region two, state three, which is Colorado. I think before I play a card or after you play a card, you can play a state card or strategy card if you have one. I don't have any strategy cards yet, but I am gonna play a state card. This is gonna let me draw two cards from my draw deck and then I can discard one and play the other card for its event immediately. Ooh, I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna discard that and I'm gonna play this for its event immediately. Add one marker into Congress, receive two buttons. This is so good. I finally have like some buttons and add one cube in one state of each region. I like that. Thank you, California. Let's go into Georgia. Let's go into Maine. Let's get out of New Mexico. Let's get you out of Colorado. Okay, let's actually, oh, we can add our fourth one to Illinois and get another card. So we'll do that. And then I think our last one is the Appalachia region. So let's add purple cube, let's put a purple cube in Kentucky. Okay, I think I did one in each region. I should really do them more in order so I can keep better track, but I think I did it right. You'll tell me in the comments if I didn't. Okay, now the Oppobot goes. Oh, save us senators from ourselves. Add one cube in one state of each region. Okay, let's find out which state. Let's start in the west. Two, that's Oregon. The Plains, seven, that's Kansas. The South, six, that's Georgia, that cube comes out. The Appalachia, that's North Carolina, that comes out. The Midwest, 
six. That's all. Illinois. We'll pull out the purple one. All we have left is the Northeast. Two. That's Vermont. Pull out. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not taking one out. I'm putting one in. That's my brain was like, but this is what you want to happen. And I'm like, sorry, brain. That's not the rules. I think I'm going to play this. Farmers for Suffrage. I'm going to play this for its event. I'm going to add two cubes in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, North Dakota, and South Dakota. So that means these two cubes in Wisconsin come out. One comes out of Minnesota, and I'll put a purple cube in there as well. Then we have Iowa, which is right here. This comes out. I'll put a purple cube in for my second one. North Dakota. Let's put a purple and a yellow. And then South Dakota. We're going to remove two of this massive amount of cubes there. Apobot, round four, the great 1906 San Francisco earthquake. That was like bad news. San Francisco was destroyed. If you don't know anything about the San Francisco earthquake since 1906, it's really bad. Play if there is at least one yellow or purple cube in California. There is. Remove all yellow and purple from California. The suffragist player loses one. Oh. I have just lost California. California? Well, guess what? I'm going to play the West's Awakening to counterbalance that. So for this event, so I'm in two in each state in the West, which means two back in California. So one comes out of Oregon, and we'll put a yellow in there. We're going to do a purple and a yellow in Washington, purple and a yellow in Idaho. One comes out of Nevada, put a yellow. One comes out of Utah, and then we'll put in one purple. And then both of these come out of Arizona. And a purple and a yellow go into New Mexico. Okay, we're starting to spread a little. We're starting to gain a little more ground. We don't have a totally empty Apobot cube holder anymore, which makes me feel a little better. But how will the Apobot respond? Oh. Senator Henry Cabot Lodge, play if there's at least one marker in Congress, there's three. So we'll remove one and then add two cubes in Massachusetts. I don't think Massachusetts needs more cubes, but that's cool. Do I want to campaign? I don't think so. I think it's better for me to just get more cubes on the board right now. And then next turn, turn five, I think I'm going to really focus on trying to get uh, doing lobbying actions to try and get more markers into Congress. So I'm going to play Ida B. Wells Barnett for her event. So I'm going to receive two buttons. I'm very happy to be getting all these buttons now. I'm going to add two cubes in Illinois and one in each other state in the Midwest region. So two in Illinois. Let's make those two purple. I'm going to do one, two, three. This one just comes out for five, and then this one. One comes out of Missouri. Okay, second to last Apobot of the turn. Play if at least one state has a check mark. Replace one check mark in a state with an X. We have not sent the bill from Congress to ratification for the state, so there are no check marks on the board yet. So this event can't happen, which means they will campaign. Okay, so let's see where this guy goes. Six, he stays right there. I, why do I roll so many sixes on this die? Okay, and this campaigner will go to four, which is the Midwest. I just spread the good word of the suffragist movement, and they're here to mess it up. All right, in the Northeast, we're looking at state five with two. Oh my gosh, is this Massachusetts again? This is bonkers in Massachusetts right here. Okay, and then in the Midwest, state eight, which is Ohio. And two, so my purples come out of that. That could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse, frankly. Okay, last card of round four. I'm gonna play Jeanette Rankin. I'm gonna roll a d6, the same thing. On a three to six, I'm gonna add a marker, and then I get to put some cubes on the board if it works. So I can re-roll this because I have lots of buttons, but hopefully I won't need to. Yes, there's a three. I get to add a congressional marker. I'm back up to halfway there, living on a prayer. I know you started singing it. And now four cubes go in Montana. Oh, which means I get that state. That's amazing. I'm gonna do two of each color. Montana. And then two in each other state in the Plains region. Let's do a purple and a yellow in North Dakota. We remove two from South Dakota. 
Aha, we're starting to sway them in South Dakota. Let's do two purple in Wyoming. You remove one from Colorado and put in a yellow. We'll remove one from Kansas and put in a yellow. Let's do a purple and a yellow in Oklahoma. And then Nebraska will do a purple and a yellow. I think it benefits because there are cards that make you remove all of the yellow from somewhere. I think it helps to have both colors in one state so you don't fully lose the state, right? So that's why I'm doing a lot of that. I think that's a pretty good way to end turn four. But let's see what the Oppobot has to say about it. The 1918 pandemic. Play if it is round one or two of the current turn. Oh, good. It's round six. So we don't have to do this. This would make me remove a marker from Congress, but I don't actually have to do this. So they campaign. All right, let's see where they go. Let's see where this guy goes. Five, they go back to Atlantic Appalachia area. Where does our buddy in the Northeast go? Oh, he also goes there. Oh boy, this, we're about to lose a lot of ground here. Okay, four cubes and the second one is gonna put two cubes. So six total cubes get added here. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, two, and some states that didn't have anything in it. So we're gonna put everything in our discard. We have two states left unclaimed, Kansas and Georgia. We move on to turn five of the game. If I can get this push through Congress, we can start trying to ratify things. So cross your fingers for me. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get a strategy card. How many, how many buttons do I have? I have seven buttons. Let's go big. Let's put out four. That'll leave me with three. See if I can get a strategy card. So three or less and I win a strategy card. A two. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I still spend all of these buttons, but now I actually get one of these strategy cards. Oh, hey, here's a setup note. You're supposed to remove this card from the game. So when you're playing with the Oppobot, in your strategy deck, there are two cards that have stars by them that say do not use versus Oppobot. You need to find those and remove them from your deck before you start playing. I'm getting Bellwether State. Y'all, select one state and remove any orange cubes and add four of my own. I could get rid of one of these giant states. That would be so good. So that now comes here. And then we'll re reveal a new card. Now we officially start turn five. And the first thing I'm going to do is Alice, Paul, and Lucy Burns. I'm gonna roll two D6s and remove that number of orange cubes anywhere. No more than two per state. So I'm hoping to clear a lot of orange cubes from the board with this card. Let's see how it goes. So I can remove five orange cubes. No more than two per state. Let's get these two out of South Dakota. These two out of Tennessee. And then we'll remove this one out of South Carolina. Not as good as it could have been, but I'm gonna save my buttons because I only have three now. I'm gonna save them, I'm not gonna re-roll. But I still, I got five cubes off the board, that's something. At the start of turn five, we play this start card for the Oppobot, War in Europe. Oh no, <laughs> play on turn five, round one. I should have known this was coming. Remove one marker from Congress. For the remainder of the turn, the suffragist player must spend one button in order to take a campaigning action. We may not be doing that much this turn. Don't like, I don't like the Oppobot. They're not nice. I'll play Maria de Lopez for her event. I'm gonna receive two buttons, thank you. And I'm gonna add two cubes in each of California, Nevada, and Arizona. I got the, whole, the west of the country so far. I need to make them four though. If I can get them to all have four, if I can get this pushed through Congress, those states will have ratified the amendment, which is really what we need to win. Okay, Oppobot, what you got now? The woman patriot, add two cubes in any three states. First one, we are in the plains, state four. So two come out of North Dakota. All right, two. Oh no, two. back into South Dakota. I love South Dakota, the Oppobot loves South Dakota. And then the last one, region five, which is Atlantic Appalachia. State five, which is Virginia, so those come out. Okay, what will I do now? Before I do anything on this round, I'm gonna take out my Ohio card and play it. So I can draw two cards from my draw deck, discard one, and play the other card for its event immediately. Let's see what we get. Oh, 
Heck yes. Oh, these are both really good. Okay, what do we want? So Mary McCloyd Bethune, we can roll 2d8s and remove that number of orange cubes anywhere. No more than two per state. Tea parties for suffrage. Add one congressional marker to Congress and receive four buttons. I think I have to go with this because if I don't get this through Congress, I auto lose the game at the end of turn six. So this is very good, but I think I have to go with the one that's getting me congressional markers. So I will do that. I will receive four buttons. I have a lot of buttons now, that makes me happy. And then for my turn, I'm going to play this Equality League of Self-Supporting Women, but I'm not gonna do it for its event. I'm actually going to take a lobbying action. So this is the first time I've done this in the game. I have three campaigners on the board. I will roll a D6 for each of them. Any six I get means I get to put a marker on the board. If I got three D6s right now, it would be a miracle and it, it would be great, it would be great. Here's the question. I should just take the six and be happy, right? I could try and re-roll, but I have to re-roll everything and there's no telling if I will roll any sixes at all. So I think I just am happy with having one six and four congressional markers in Congress. And hopefully nothing else is gonna remove them anymore, but we'll see. All right, now the Oppobot will take their third round card. They will put two orange cubes in any three states. So you can see a lot of what the Oppobot is doing is just Spreading cubes everywhere. Okay, so we've got region two, state six. So these two come out, that's Nebraska. Number two, we've got the northeast, state three, that's New Hampshire. And then last one, four, which is the Midwest, state seven, which is Indiana. So this purple one comes out and one orange goes in. All right, I'm gonna play Helen Keller now for her event. So I'm gonna roll two D6s, add that number of cubes anywhere, no more than two per state. Five and one. I'm gonna spend one and I'm gonna re-roll these. A Seriously, no. I need more than six, come on. <laughs> okay, one more. <gasps> this is bad. Okay, one more. That's it worth it <laughs> what a roller coaster i spent so many on that okay so i'm putting out 11 cubes all right let's try and lock up some things let's get two in new york two in maine two in iowa two in wyoming two in kansas let's do one in nevada okay Come on, I just need to get this pushed through Congress and I'll have, I'll have votes. Play if 18th Amendment is not in effect. It isn't. Add two cubes in any four states. Blech. Okay, first one. Region three, state three, Louisiana. Second one, S the Northeast and state seven. Is that? Yeah, Connecticut. All right, third one. State four in region two. Okay, so these two come out for North Dakota. Okay, last one. Region four, which is the Midwest. State four, which is Wisconsin. So that comes out in one orange cube, goes in. Okay, second to last round of turn five. I will play this card. I'm gonna play it for a lobbying action. I'm gonna try and get another congressional marker here on our track. So again, I have three campaigners. So I roll 3d6, hope for the best. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look what happened. Other than me spraying cubes everywhere, I've li <laughs> I rolled three sixes. That means, we, this was so lucky, these fill completely and we immediately leave the congressional phase. That means we immediately go into ratification. So that's what we're gonna spend the rest of the game doing. And that is gonna change what we do with our cube. So here's what happens. First, we remove all of our markers from the board. We don't need them anymore. We've pushed the amendment through Congress. Congress has sent it to the states to ratify. So now we're gonna find out which states have already ratified the 19th Amendment and which states have rejected it. So first, we need to find the states that have four cubes in them. So California has four cubes, so that gets replaced with a check mark. California passed the amendment. 
On the other hand, as we know, Missouri has more than four on the opposition. I either knocked that cube into Arkansas or it was already there. We're gonna say it was already there because if I can't keep track of my own cubes, I deserve the punishment. So Missouri rejected. So I'm gonna go through and just now replace all of the states with my four cubes with check marks and all of the states with the Abobots four cubes with X's. Okay, so we have four states that have already rejected the 19th Amendment and 10 states that have ratified it. To win the game, I need to get the rest of my green check marks out. I believe there are 36 of them. So I have a lot of work left to do. To win the game for the Oppobot, they need to get the rest of their X's out. They have 13, so they have less work to do. From now on, anytime a state gets four cubes in it, they have either rejected or ratified the amendment. If we get to the end of turn six, and neither one of us has actually won yet, we go into final voting. But now it's the Oppobot's turn to play a card. So let's see what happens. United Daughters of the Confederacy. Play if Southern strategy is in effect. It is not, I actually have it in my hand. I've chosen not to play it yet. So that's kind of, we've dodged a bullet, but they will do campaigning and this could actually swing some things into their side. So actually we haven't dodged a bullet. We've taken the bullet, it's hit us, we've been shot. Okay, so two cubes in four states in the South. Oh boy, they're probably gonna re reject somewhere in the South here. So let's see which states. The first state is state number four, that's Mississippi. State number two, seven, that's South Carolina. They immediately reject because that would give them four cubes. All right, the third one, state number five, that's Alabama. And the last one, eight is Florida. That would give them four cubes, so they immediately reject. Last card of turn five. I'm going to use my Carrie Chapman cat card and spend a button to campaign. So first I need to spend a button because I'm going to move out of the Northeast and I'm going to move into the West, see if I can seal up some of these states that have two. I guess I'll stay, I'll stay where I am everywhere else and just see if maybe I can do some good. I roll D fours because I don't have a special card in play letting me roll D sixes. So hope for the best. Two fours and a one. Okay, that's great. I'm not gonna re-roll because two of those are fours. So someone's only getting a one, which isn't amazing, but it's something. Okay, let's give the fours to the two purples and we're gonna give the one to the yellow campaigner. They're going to add to Minnesota here. So it's just one away from being able to ratify. Here's what we're gonna do here. We're going to immediately ratify Virginia with the four, the four we can place. And then we can get two states in the West because we can add two. So let's do Washington and Idaho. So we're adding two purple to each one, which brings them both up to four, which means they've ratified. That's a lot of green check marks I need to get on the board. All right, now the Oppobot has their last one of the turn. Add two cubes in any three states. First one, region three, state four, which means one cube goes to Mississippi and that rejects and one flows over and that will go into Alabama, which also rejects. They go to a nearby state uh, adjacent. If it were a real human player, they would go to one where they could re uh, reject the amendment rather than one where they can't. So that's why I've chosen that. Okay, second one. Okay, region five, state five, they can't. So let's roll another one, six. So they get two here, which rejects the amendment. This is a, this is bad. This is very good for the Oppobot. Okay, last one. Region four, state five. So they get two in Michigan. So things go into their discards. The war in Europe comes out. We move into the last turn of the game. Yeah, let's draw our cards. Oh, I drew that from my discard pile, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, here we are, turn six. It's gonna be time to play as many of our state cards as we can. I should be able to play, I have six of them, plus our strategy card, so I should be able to do one each round. Hopefully that, that's gonna swing things in our favor here. But first we have to do our strategy mode. I have three buttons. It would be great to get this reconsideration. I'm just gonna spend 
I'm gonna spin two buttons and let's see, let's see what happens here. Oh, yep, so I'm out of the buttons and the Oppobot gets one of these strategy cards. Oh no, <gasps> there's some, these effects for the Oppobot are very bad for us. Oh, okay, the winning plan. Oppobot, add four cubes to two states determined at random. So they're about to get two more X's out on the board. They're so close to winning. I don't know if we can do this. All right, let's see where they go. Two states. First one. They can't because uh, I've already ratified in state four. So let's try again. Four, six, I've already ratified there. Two, six, they get Nebraska. All right, next one. Five. Seven, they get Maryland. All the opposition needs is two X's out on the board and they win. We have so many check marks to get out. I don't know if we can do this. I don't know if we can do it, y'all. But let's try our best. First, we need to start playing some of these cards. I'm gonna play the Bellwether State at the start of my turn here. So I select one state, I remove any orange cubes from it and add four of my own. So I'm gonna remove these three from Louisiana and we're gonna ratify in Louisiana because I'm adding four of my own cubes. Now I can play a card from my hand. <gasps> ooh, 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 y'all, I'm playing Southern Strategy. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna receive two buttons. I'm gonna add two cubes in each state in the South region. So that gives me two in Texas. This removes the one in Arkansas and gives me one, and I'll put yellow, in Georgia. Then select and place in front of you one available strategy card. I'm gonna grab Eye on the Future. Playable if it's turn five or turn six. Look through your draw deck and select one card and play it for its event immediately. That could be very handy. Okay, so this is an effect for the rest of the game. So we put that right there. All right, Oppobot, your first one. Oh, of course, play of Southern strategy is in effect. Of course. <laughs> Add two cubes in four states in the South region. Well, there's only three that they can. So these two come out, these two come out, this one comes out, and one goes in. Classic Oppobot. Okay, we are gonna play our Pennsylvania card. So we're gonna add six cubes in the Atlantic or Appalachia region, no more than two per state. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the two from Pennsylvania. That's two, three, four, five, Six. So I'm getting these two states, West Virginia and Kentucky, closer to being able to be ratified. Now I'm going to play Dr. Mabel Pingua Lee. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but I'm going to roll for the event. I'm going to roll 2d8 and add that number of cubes anywhere, no more than two per state. So I might be able to turn some people to my side right now. So this could be up to 16 cubes on the board. This could be really big. Ten. That's pretty good, I'm gonna keep it. 10 is, is not bad, it's not 16, but it's, it's, it's very good. So we're gonna do one, two, which means those are gonna ratify, three, that'll ratify, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This was very good, very, very good. And we remove all of the, I still have so many to go, but let me remove all of the cubes. This was good progress, okay. That's very good because this is remove all purple cubes from the two states with the most purple cubes. There's only one, so this one goes away because I've converted all the others. Ha ha, take that, Oppobot. Oh, I never gave us a new strategy card, so there you go. I'm gonna start my turn by playing my Eye on the Future strategy card. Look through my draw deck, select one card and play it for its event immediately. Okay. This is what I've decided. I'm taking the Women's Trade Union League, which is going to let me add my final campaigner. She's also in the Atlantic Appalachia region. It's very crowded there. I would add one marker to Congress, but we're out of the congressional phase and I get two buttons. Now I get to take my actual turn and I'm hoping that this will help me with some campaigning actions, basically. So what I'm going to do now is play this card just to take a campaigning action. I'm gonna keep everyone where they are. I'm not gonna spend any buttons to move anyone. So let's roll 44s. These aren't technically D4s, but four of the blue dice and uh, see what happens. Three, three, four, one. Okay, the poor one. Let's do three, four, and then three and one over here. So they're gonna add three. They're gonna add it to Oregon, which will just ratify 
then four, so, so we'll grab Ohio with the four cubes that she would put out. And then we have four total that can be put out here, so we'll grab Pennsylvania. We're making progress, but there's so much progress left to be made. All right, the Oppobot will go. The Suffragist player must discard two cards from their hand at random and draw two cards from the Suffragist draw deck. Okay, at random. Ugh, I'll take the two middle ones. No! Oh, I really wanted to play these cards. This one was going to give me, if we go into final voting, this was going to let me win the ties, but not anymore. Okay, let's see what we ended up with instead. Okay, those aren't terrible. At least I didn't put any more cubes out on the board, though. So now I'll play out Illinois. So I can add six cubes to the Midwest region, no more than two per state. So what I'm going to do is do remove these two from Michigan, remove one from Indiana and put out one, and remove one from Wisconsin, put out one. Now we're gonna campaign again, and I will pay buttons to move some people around. I will pay a button to move her to the plains, and I will pay a button to move her to the south. Now we roll our d4s and see what we can add to the board. Let's do the three here, because it means I'll convert this state. We have like all of the west. We'll do a four here, because it'll get me one state in the south. We'll do a two here and the two here. So the four means, let's go on and grab Georgia. Oh, you know what? I have Kansas. I never took the Kansas card. So I actually have all the state cards. Okay, then we do two here. I'm gonna use those two to take these away from South Dakota. We have the three here, which means we'll add three to Utah which means that ratifies. And then we have two here, and I'm just gonna add one and one. Okay, Oppobot goes. Voter suppression, oh no. If we go into final voting, the Oppobot will roll a D8 instead of a D6. That's not great. So if we go into final voting, which is what happens if we get to the end of this turn and neither one of us has won, we'll start by alternating, choosing a state, and rolling the dice. And whoever gets the higher value on the die wins that state. If you have cubes in that state, that adds to your die roll. I'll be rolling a d6, but now the Oppobot will be rolling a d8 and the Oppobot wins ties. So this is very bad for us. <laughs> so now I'll play Kansas. So I'm gonna add six cubes to the Plains region, no more than two per state. So that's this region. So I'm just gonna start one, two, three, four, five, Six. See if I can win those, huh? Then I'm gonna play the Young Woman Citizen. Draw two cards from my draw deck, discard one card, play the other for its event immediately. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, that one doesn't do us a lot of good. Oh, this is great. Prison Tour Special for the remainder of the turn. We'll roll a D6 instead of a D4 when we're taking a campaigning action. That's definitely the one we're doing. Okay, Abobot. So they'll campaign. Oh, it might be over because they can't play this as an event. So the event here is play if there's at least one marker in Congress. So we're out of the congressional phase now. So they're gonna play this as a campaigning action. All they need to do is get four cubes in two different states and they'll win. We won't go to final voting. Ooh, okay, let's see what happens. All right, let's see what regions they move to. Two, come on over to the plains, buddy. Okay, and this one? Three, that's the south. Okay, how many is cubes does this guy put out? Three. So that means he will remove these two and put out one. How many does this guy put out? Two, we've dodged a bullet. He's gonna put one in Arkansas and one in Texas. Wow, okay, okay. What can we do on our last turn? We need to set ourselves up for final voting, basically. I'm gonna play this card, it's a very good event, rolling two D8s and then placing that number of cubes anywhere, but it's no more than two per state. I'm actually, I think it is better for me to play this for its campaigning action because I'll be rolling four D6s, which is better than two D8s. So I'm gonna spend a button, send her to the Northeast. And then depending on how this goes, I have some cards. I have a card, I can play a card, a state card, so. All right, two fives, a six and a two. Okay, we're gonna do a five here, a five here, I think the two here and a six here. So five, we've put two here, that makes it four, that ratifies. Two here, that makes that four, that ratifies. Then we have one left, which we'll use to remove this one in Colorado. We're gonna use these two to just remove these two orange ones. For this six, we'll put two in Indiana, which ratifies. 
we'll put two in Wisconsin, which ratifies, and then we have two left over, which we'll put in Michigan. Down here, we have five to spend. So one is going to be spent taking this one out of Texas, and then the other four will be getting Texas to ratify. Okay, what do we have left? They have two, one, two, three, I have five. This is so close. Last one for the Oppobot. Oh wait, no, I need to play a card. I need to play one of these cards. I think what I'm going to do is play New Jersey. That's gonna get me two buttons. That means when we go into final voting, assuming the Oppobot does not win on this last card, I'll have some extra buttons to spend for rerolls. Now, let's see what the Oppobot does on its last round. Play of Southern Strategies in effect it is. Add one cube to each state in the South region. And we'll get one in Arkansas. Okay. Oh, look. <laughs> one of my middle cards got shuffled into my late part of the deck. Whoops. We are at the end of turn six. Neither one of us has won yet, which means we go in to final voting. So I start. I will pick a state, and we're going to roll off to see who wins that state. The Oppobot only needs to win two states to win the whole game, whereas I need five states to win the whole game. So I'm gonna start with Michigan because it has two cubes I'm gonna to add to my roll. I roll a D6, the Oppobot, because of voter suppression, will roll a D8 and they win ties. So first I roll a one. I will spin to reroll that. A three, that's a five total. Let's see what they do. A five, they win a tie. I'm gonna spin another one to reroll again. Oh, six. That means it's an eight. I win that. <sighs> Rough. Okay, so now they choose. They will choose a state with the most orange cubes. So that's Arkansas. So they will add three to their D8 roll. <laughs> that's 11. I can't beat that. I only roll three. So they get Arkansas. They're one away from finishing this out. So now I choose. I don't have cubes anywhere else. So I will choose a state where neither one of us has any cubes. I'll choose Colorado. So I roll a D6, only a three. They roll a D8, a five. I'm re-rolling. A six, <laughs> take that, Oppobot. I won Colorado. Okay, now they go. This is probably where they win though. They'll go to Rhode Island where they have two. Yeah, that's 10. I can't beat that. Two. And there you go. They win. I was only three ratifications away from the win, but I couldn't pull it out. Just couldn't do it. And there you have it. History is forever changed because of the outcome of this game. Okay, luckily that's not the case. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough of Votes for Women. Now don't forget to check out Rodney's full how to play video, which is linked in the description below, where he covers the two player competitive mode of this game. If you enjoy playthroughs of board games, make sure to check out our gameplay series right here on this channel, hosted by Monique and Naveen as they go head to head in two player games. If you enjoyed this, please go on and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you should do that right now. Click the button, you know you want to. Hit the little bell so that you're notified whenever I have a new episode out for you. And until then, thanks for watching.